So for, you know, uh, for a year or so now, um, our organization and other organizations that we coalition with have been advocating for some anti-discrimination provision in federal housing policy. Um, the federal government plays a huge role in, in housing for Americans, whether it's federally um, subsidized housing like Section 8, um, whether it's FHA guaranteed mortgages, um, whether it's um, HUD gives grants to various things like homeless shelters. And, and so the federal government has a lot of uh, a role to play in housing. And today at the Creating Change Conference, Secretary Sean Donovan of HUD, um, representing the Obama administration, announced that this week um, they're issuing new regulations that will make it illegal to discriminate against LGBT people uh, in federal housing programs or federally supported housing programs. I mean, this is a, a, a really amazing thing. You know, taking our population of transgender people as an example, um, a study we did last year with the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force showed that 19% of trans people had been denied a home or apartment at some point in their life. 19% um, um, had been homeless at some point in their life. And of those people who did go to homeless shelters when they were homeless, 52% uh, faced harassment. Um, almost a quarter had been just denied access to the homeless shelter. And, and it's even so much worse for trans people of color. But it's that way for gay people, it's that way for bi people. And you know, more, we're seeing more and more studies that show that um, a really largely disproportionate share of youth homeless people, or youth who are homeless, um, are LGBT. The numbers are 40, 50 percent sometimes of the people who are homeless in any given city who are LGBT. And a lot of that has to do with family acceptance, a lot of it has to do with what's going on in our schools and what kind of jobs are available. But a lot of it has to do with just housing discrimination. And HUD's really making an effort here to try to rein that in and try to give people and advocates the tool to really, to really end that.